everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Monday to everybody. I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Um, I was able to do a little crafting this weekend, so I wanted to go ahead and share what I made for you guys. Um, I definitely wanted to play with my new digital kit uh, called Happy Halloween, and it's by uh, Patent Graphics. And um, I also wanted to play with this uh, new die of mine from Sizzix called Front Door. And um, I had gotten this from Hobby Lobby on clearance. So I wanted to play with that. So uh, first of all, um, I made some rosettes. I love making rosettes with uh, different collections. So let me just share with you guys what I created. I made a few of them. I started out with making three and then um, I shared it with a friend of mine on Instagram and she loved it and so I told her I was gonna make her some so this is what I created I used um, this pretty uh, gingham pattern paper in kind of a peachy tone and then I used some of the ephemeras that I was able to print and cut with my Cricut and I just love it. I love my ghosty and then here's a spider web in the back and then I just love this banner. This banner fits perfectly um, on my rosette. It says Happy Halloween on it and then there, here's my two pink pumpkins. Um, also use the boo uh, word and then I added some bling these are little gems from Alina Craft and um, put some stars there and I mostly use, um, well I used hot glue and also my, uh, what is this one, the art glitter glue to put this all together. So just a very simple one right here and then this next one here. Um, I added some tool on the bottom so um, I used my rosette die again and by the way uh, the rosette die is from this bat rosette and then I also use the circle part which comes with this die I used it to cut out my um, my mesh or uh, tool if you'd like um, and I use this one right here the orange one and just to give it a little color because um, the bottom uh, paper is white with the spiders so that's the other um, other paper like this one this design that's what I use for the bottom and then again I used the banner, the um, pumpkins, this time I used the orange pumpkin and then um, I used the bat so that was something different and I also used the um, spider and all from the digital collection and then I put a little bow on this one and I think these bows I got at Daiso I believe and uh, that one came out really cute so that's how this one looks like. And then for this one here, I just used a different bow. This time I did, this one's a boy ghost. So I put the bow here on the bottom. And I think these are Hobby Lobby bows, if I'm not mistaken. And basically did the same thing here on this one with the bat on the back there. And then the next one here is similar. I just have a different bow on this one, just more of a peachy bow. And this time I used the black mesh from the Dollar Tree for the um, bottom layer there and then the last one I did I used this teeny tiny resin bow um, that I wow where did I get that one <laughs> I can't remember if that one was gifted to me or if that was from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree but they're the ones for your nails um, so you know super tiny and then I did a spider web on this one and again the black mesh 
so they are so cute and ready to go and so um for one of them one of the rosettes i actually made one more but i ended up putting it on a card so here is my card so i'll be sending some happy mail soon and um, i wanted to make a card and um, i used the front door die so here um, as you can see there there's the front door i did use again the gingham paper digital paper and then also the spider and then i inked it up with my spiced marmalade um, distress oxide and then here's the web and the um, spider again and i blinged up the the body of the spider and then here's um, the bat and i popped it up on some foam and i used a pink rosette uh, this time um, and that's the one with the pink and stars on it and um, yeah i just popped that rosette on top there and in the back it looks like that and then inside um, I love using like the pattern paper on the inside and then the right side though I leave it blank but then I ink up the edges um, that way I can write a little sentiment so that's ready to go so I love it so there's my first card and then for my second card um, I used the that pink paper again with the stars for my door and this time my little um, my little ghosty is halfway inside <laughs> his bottom half is inside the door there um, he's kind of jamming the door actually and then I put my my banner up here this time with some stars and then again the spider and the web and the bat and then this time I used a different paper um, for this one and the paper that I used is the DCWV um, Halloween party because it has the little ghosties on there and I use holographic paper right here um, just to you know make this pop a little more because it's it's kind of small the door is kind of small here so I decided to just add a little holographic paper there just to make things pop a little bit and then I used this silver uh, foil cardstock I think from Michaels and I just did that to mat the ghost pattern paper and then I put um, the three uh, pumpkins there and I just put some gems kind of all over and that's how that looks like the back looks like this and this is another one of the designer paper um, with that um, that digital collection from Patton graphics and then I just did the same paper inside and I left this one blank and that's also ready to go so I just enjoy making cards right now and um, I love um, using this digital collection because it's so cute i just love all the little ghosts and um yeah i was just kind of on a roll with making the rosettes and um you know just ended up making a few more for my friend um so uh, i'm going to be sending some of these out soon uh, and then uh, i went ahead and make, made another sequence mix and it's this one right here and as you can see it kind of matches the paper collection here and I put lots of pink sequins in this one and um, put uh, black spiders in there all the elements that's um, on that's part of this collection so there's uh, I think there's did I put ghost in there oh maybe I need to add some ghosties I think that's the only thing um, I'm missing so I did do some orange some darker pink some lighter pink some holographic pink uh, black spiders I did black bats um, I just forgot some ghosts so um, I'll see if I have any and I will add it to my sequence mix but that's also ready to go 
I can um, go ahead and, you know, um, put my topper, which most likely I'll probably use one of these to make a topper and um, sent this out. So that is what I created. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know which card you liked best. And, you know, if you liked my rosettes, I love re reading your comments and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. So uh, if you're enjoying um, my channel here, enjoying the um, my creations, uh, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. All right, guys. Bye.